Hi everyone, I'm Deborah Ellsby. I'm a paediatric dentist, originally from Scotland, but been in Melbourne for seven years. And I'm just going to go through some questions that you guys have sent through to be asked about your children's teeth. So the first one, um, my now five-year-old fell over at 15 months old and had surgery to remove his right front tooth that went up into his gum. Um, there's nothing wrong with his teeth and no sign of the adult tooth to come through anytime soon. But do you think the developing adult tooth will come down on its own? We've been advised for six monthly checkups rather than 12 months. So first of all, dental trauma, really, really common. The outcome for the, the adult teeth can be quite unpredictable. This is why your dentist wants to see you quite regularly. So it can range from no issues at all with the permanent teeth to come down in a normal position. Um, sometimes there's little discoloured spots on the front of the teeth. Sometimes the teeth can grow in a funny position or sometimes they don't want to grow through at all. So that's why it's really important to see your dentist regularly so that they can monitor your child's growth and development um, and refer to a specialist if, if it needs to be done. A great resor resource that dentists use um, is the Dental Trauma Guide, and that's got the latest research on how to treat dental trauma, and you can look that up online, um, dentaltraumaguide.org. The next question is a three and a half year old that sucked her thumb from birth and it's made her teeth crooked. Does mum need to worry about the permanent teeth and any tips from an expert on how to get her to stop sucking her thumb? Again, really, really common habit to have and it can be really, really difficult to help encourage your child to stop this habit. Really, really difficult to stop. Um, it's much easier to cease a habit if your child is on board with wanting to stop and this can be really difficult at three and a half. It's more crucial for the habit to stop around age five to six when the baby teeth are falling out and the adult teeth are coming through um, and it, stop, it helps stop long-term problems arising with the adult teeth. If the habit does continue when the adult teeth are growing, it's less likely that the crookedness of the adult teeth will um, resolve without treatment um, before the habit does stop. Orthodontic, so braces treatment can be quite difficult depending on what type of problem the habit has caused. So again, really important to see your dentist regularly. Um, gentle discouragement is better than nagging because some, child, some children can become quite defensive um, if you keep nagging them about stopping the habit. Um, you can try things like reminders on the thumb, so a band-aid on the thumb to remind, remind them to, to pull it out, a bitter tasting nail application you can use, um, or wear a mitten or a sock on the hand um, at night time during sleep. You can use reward stickers, um, progress on a calendar, so little ticks when they, when they don't suck their thumb on that day and maybe have a reward at the, at the end of a month or something like that. Um, and then we're looking at more invasive things if these don't, don't help stop the habit. So um, little plates that can be made at your dentist or your orthodontist um, and those are usually fixed into the mouth to, to stop the thumb going in there. Um, or another thing you can use is a thumb guard. So it's a little plastic guard that goes over the hand um, and that stops the children being able to put the thumb inside their mouth um, and that works really, really well. You can find that online at www.thumbguard.com.au. The next question is an eight-year-old um, that has no room for her adult teeth to come through. So there's no gap at all um, as the, the first adult teeth have come through and filled out the space that's there. So mum's asking, do I really have to let this tooth force its way through, putting the other teeth out of place and wait until she's older to fix it? She still has so many more teeth to lose and grow with such a small jaw. So again, crowding, really, really common in children, especially when their first adult teeth come through the gum because they're so much bigger than the baby teeth that they're replacing. Um, the jaw does grow, 
um, outwards as well as longwards to help accommodate the adult teeth. It's a difficult question to answer without seeing the actual case. So everyone is um, kind of assessed on their own individual merits as to whether any treatment can be done early or whether it is better to, to wait until more of the adult teeth are through. Again, I would suggest seeing your dentist regularly to monitor the growth and development for that one. All I would say is often it's a good idea to keep treatment as minimal as possible to avoid um, the child burning out and not wanting comprehensive orthodontic care when they're a bit older if they've had to go through a lot as a young child. Um, next question is, any tips on how to get a 14-month-old child to open their mouth for teeth brush brushing after a meal? Really, really difficult to, to brush um, children's teeth at this age. Um, my tips, ensure you're using a small, soft toothbrush and just a smear of children's strength toothpaste um, pushed into the bristles so there's not very much foam that's going to be swallowed. Um, try making toothbrushing fun. There's um, little apps that you can use now or sing a song. Um, something like this might help. There's, you can also turn it into a game. So something like monster teeth where you give a, a big monster growl oh, to do the front ones and a big monster roar ah, to do the back ones. Um, another good tip is have them lying down um, on the couch on your lap so that you've got a better vision um, inside their mouth and you can just get the brush in there. But really, really difficult. Keep persevering. It will get easier. Next question. My 18-month-old son has torn his maxillary frenum um, due to some play wrestling. So that's a little bit of, gum, of uh, tissue that holds the lip to the gum. He seems to be in a lot of pain and of course there was a lot of blood. He's all okay now and from what I've heard it's a fairly common injury and nothing to be too worried about. However, I'm just wondering if there's anything I should do while it heals. Is it best to take him to a dentist to get it checked out? I'm a first time mum and it's the first big mouth injury so I'm not too sure, sure what I'm doing. So again, really, really common. Um, if it's just the little frenum uh, that's torn, then no treatment is needed apart from keeping the area nice and clean. Sometimes with an injury like this, the whole gum can be torn right up from, from the teeth upwards. That's a, a much more significant injury. And if that's the case, that will need treatment. That will need to be stitched back down. Um, so again, I would suggest um, going to a dentist just to check that it is just the frenum that's injured and just to check the teeth or the jaws. There can be some little injuries to teeth that you, you don't realise when you just see lots of blood in the mouth. Um, as I said before, if it's just the frenum, keep the area clean with a little um, soft wet face washer um, during healing and any Panadol if necessary if he's in a little bit of pain until um, the, the area heals. So I've had two similar questions. Um, from two different people. So the first one is, my one-year-old has an upper lip tie, which has caused a gap between his upper teeth and it makes it difficult to brush those top teeth. Do I need to have something done now to avoid any speech issues or eventually the adult teeth having a gap? So that was the first question. The second one is, nine-month-old boy has an upper lip tie. Um, we have no problems with breastfeeding, but would it be of benefit to have it revised? I had one as a child and had to have it cut under a general anaesthetic as it was causing a gap between my teeth. And another side question on there was, how often should I be brushing his teeth or gums? They're doing it once a day currently. So with a lip tie, generally no treatment is required at such a young age. So we're talking nine months and one year. Um, often the, the little tie will reduce as the children grow um, and that will allow the adult teeth to, to merge together as they grow through. Um, generally, as more of the adult teeth come through, it pushes all the front teeth together and closes that gap. 
If that doesn't happen, it's best to be seen by an orthodontist first, because um, often if you have the little, little procedure done, it's called a phrenectomy, often if you have that done first, um, it can cause some scar tissue to form, and then it can actually make closing the space quite difficult, and often it may force the teeth apart again, even after the orthodontist has closed the space. So I would say see an orthodontist first, sometimes they can close the gap without needing a phrenectomy or other times they would close the gap first and then have the phrenectomy done so that the, the teeth stay in that closed position. With regards to the tooth brushing, twice a day is best um, if possible. I know life is busy, um, but after breakfast and last thing before bed is gold standard. So again, use a small soft toothbrush with a small smear of children's toothpaste pushed into the bristles. Um, practice spitting out as early as possible and don't rinse the mouth after you've used the toothpaste. So spit out the excess, but don't rinse your mouth afterwards. And what that does is it allows the fluoride to, to stay around the teeth um, for longer and give its benefits to the teeth there. Um, after you've brushed before bed, have nothing else to eat um, and only plain water to drink.